Hello guys, I'm Faith Uso and I'm your instructor for this topic and we'll be talking about standard single logic gates. That's our topic for today. Okay, so now the objectives of this lesson are students should be able to define logic gates, students should be able to state the types of standard logic gates, students should be able to illustrate the symbols of standard logic gates and students should be able to write down logic equations. Now let's get started. Definition of logic gate. Well, a logic gate is an elementary building block of a digital circuit. You can find digital circuits in our laptops, can find in our electrical devices. Okay. Logic gates are devices that implement Boolean functions that they accept one and zero. It does a logic operation on one or more bits of input and gives a bit as an output. At any given moment, every terminal is in one of the binary condition that the two binary conditions which is low for zero and high for one now types of standard single logic gates they are basically three types they are and gates or gates and no gates now first consider the and gate now the and gate will give a high output only if all of the outputs are high now how high outputs here are they are represented by one that low output is zero so an example is in a simple lighting circuit that have two um, switches, okay? So now, if you look at the table for the AND gates, when, you are, when the two circuits are off, the output is off. So when the two of them are on, which is represented by one, the circuit is one, okay? Now, we'll consider the next one we'll consider is the OR gate. For the OR gate, is a digital logic gate that gives an output of one, when any of the outputs are one that's for, lo uh, for the table of an all gate if any of the outputs or any of the inputs rather is on the output will be on so we have um we have three cases of um of the on outputs here okay then for the not gate is also called as an inverter it's different it's just, the different thing is that it has just one input and also one output okay it's just the, the um invert of the input that's what an enode gate is so now let's talk about logic equations the first one is the and gate equation which is represented by a dot sign now the dot sign does not mean multiplication it just reads that s is equals to a and b that means a and b has to be the same for has to be on for uh, for you to have an output of on then for the all gates, we have x, I'm sorry, not x, q is equals to a plus b, which simply means that the plus sign does not mean addition, it means that it's equals to either a or b. Then the not gates is just a complement, which is the inverse, inverse of the input. That's what the output is. Okay, so now, so far, so good. We've spoken about logic gates that are devices that implement Boolean functions. Spoken about the three types of standard single logic gates, which are AND, OR, and NOT. Spoken about an AND gate that gives an output of 1 when all of the inputs are 1, else to give 0. And the OR gate gives an output of 1 when any of the inputs are 1. Take note, the AND, all the inputs has to be 1 or ON, while the OR, you have just, you just need to have any of them to be 1 or ON. Okay, then for the NOT gate, it's just the complement of 1, or zero the complement of the inputs that's been given. Okay, so now we should consider these five exercises or four exercises. The first one is define a logic gate. Second is uh, mention the three types of standard single logic gate. The third, explain the three types of standard single logic gate. And the last one is give logic gates, give logic equations. Okay, that'll be all for this class. I'll see you in my next class.